Well, hello there. Welcome to Big Dream Crochet. I'm Olivia, and I'm so glad you're here. If you are a new viewer, thank you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a try. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for watching again and sticking with me, especially during this exciting time where I have my very first crochet market of the year. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited for it. It is on June 15th. Today is June 11th, so I have about three, four more days to prepare. And part of my preparing is showing you what I have been making for this market. I have some new items, but most of them are items that I've had before. Um, but I'm going to show them to you regardless, and I'll list all of the patterns that I use. Yeah, I have a lot to show you, so I kind of want to keep the intro a bit short, so that way this doesn't end up being like a 30 minute video. So yeah, before we go ahead and get started, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. If you are not subscribed already, I'm going to be posting market content all throughout the rest of the year now that summer has officially kicked off market season for me from this month from June all the way until December, that is market season. So I'll be posting market content and all of the things like that for crochet. So if that's what you're interested in, hey, this is the place for you. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started showing you all of my new little creations. Also, one thing I, I'm pretty sure you can see my computer right here, but I have my computer open. This is where I keep my inventory, track of my inventory and pricing and how many items I have all together, how much, how much value all of those items have. This is all in one spreadsheet, which I actually have a tutorial on. Uh, so you can set up your own market inventory tracker. I use it all the time. It's super easy. You can set it up and personalize it however you want. And it does a really good job at giving you what the big picture is, like how many items you have all together, how many items you have in one category. It gives you an idea of how much money you could make if you sold all these things or things like that. It's just very insightful for the big picture of your market. So I will put the link to the spreadsheet tutorial in the description below. I filmed it a while ago, but I think it'd be super helpful for you, especially if you are just starting in markets. That'll be in the description below, but that is what I'm looking at when I turn to the side because I want to tell you how much I am pricing my items and then also how many of them that I made. So now that we got that out of the way, let the official showing of the items begin. All right, we're going to start off with Amigurumi first, my plushie category. I made a lot of plushies, um, I think only like two new ones. I actually have all together a hundred plushies to sell. Yeah, not all of them are probably going to be put out at this market, but yeah, I have a hundred of them. So crazy. Um, let me let me start by showing you the new ones that I have been making. Also, side note, so you will hear my prices in this video, and I just kind of want to put a little bit of a disclaimer. My prices might be very different to yours. Um, I actually use Cameron's Cute Creations pricing calculator when it comes to pricing my items. So I use the time I spent, the material, the material cost, and other little things that go into actually selling the item uh, to figure out what my price is. Everybody has different opinions on pricing and that's totally okay. These prices work for me and I've done decently well with my pricing, still making sure that it's affordable for my customers, but also making sure that I get paid as well and that uh, the price reflects the actual value and quality of my items. So yeah, I just wanted to give a disclaimer about that. And for some reason that can get a little bit controversial at times, but these prices work for me and it's dependent on where I live and what I am making. So I hope that when you price your items, you also are able to factor in those things and make sure that the price reflects the quality of your work and you also get paid as well. You're paid for your time you spent making this item. So yeah, just wanted to preface that before uh, yeah, we get into everything. So first off, I've been making these little these little ducklings, aren't they so cute? Um, 
yeah, this is what they look like. They just got some little little hair on top, uh, acrylic yarn for the beak, and safety eyes for the eyes, and just it's so cute, just like a little ball of duckling. And I've heard, well, my mom, she is really into playing Stardew Valley. She told me that these ducklings look like the baby ducks on Stardew Valley. So if you play Stardew Valley, Valley let me know if she's right about that, because I don't play it, but they're super cute. Super cute. I made six of them and I'm pricing them for $12 each. Next up is these jumbo leggy frogs. I've made leggy frogs in the past, but this time I had some leftover sparkly green plush yarn to use. And so I was like, let me just whip up some really cute jumbo leggy frogs. And so I did. I made six of them and they are $20 each. So next up, I made this little plush strawberry here. This one, I made two of them just because I was using leftover yarn. They are priced at $25. All right, next up, these are not a new item. Those are the only new items that I have added to my inventory is the ducklings, the jumbo leggy frogs, and then the plush strawberries. Um, everything else, I am just remaking some of my best sellers from last year's market. So... First, we have pickles. Uh, I have a big pickle and then a mini pickle. The big pickle, I believe it goes for, oh yeah, these go for $25 each, and I made three of them. And then the mini pickles go for, I believe, $12. Yeah, $12 each, and I made five of these. People find them so entertaining and cute. I label them as emotional support pickles in the little bin that they go into, and People think it is so funny and they come into my booth just to look at the pickles, the emotional support pickles. It's <laughs> it's pretty funny. Then I also have chickens. You cannot do a market without selling these chickens. They are my best sellers all around and they were my best sellers for winter markets. So I'm excited to see how they do for my summer markets. Uh, the chickens go for $12 each, and I have 17 of them, about half in the speckled black and white yarn, and then half just the traditional white chicken. This is my other strawberry. This is the big strawberry that I made. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. It never sold at any of my markets last year, so I'm hoping that somebody will take it home. I found a better strawberry pattern that I like more. The big one, the big plush one, it goes for $30, and then this is the mini acrylic one, and this one is going for 20 I think what I don't like about them is the top. I really like how this plush strawberry has the leaves that come up. Like, they're loose. You can play with them. It makes it look more like a strawberry. I feel like these look like peppers. I don't know. We'll see. I'll put all of my strawberries out to see if we have any takers. <sighs> this is kind of a little bit outside of the plushy range. I have more plushies in there. I'm just going to go through this tub because there's a lot but next up is bucket hats. So I made some fun summer bucket hats. I have five of them and they are going for $30 each. So I have some plain funky colored ones like this one, this one. I really like this one. I'm going to be really curious to see who gets this one. Yeah, so I have some funky plain ones and then I have two plain yarn but textured so this this pattern is my bead bucket hat pattern it's one that I designed myself and I have it in yellow and the hot pink bucket hats never sold during my winter markets we'll see we'll see how I do concerning these bucket hats during the summer because it's summertime right people need cute hats to wear outside to the beach we'll see next I have some bandanas that I that I've made these are a new variety of bandanas that I have made and sold at markets in the past. So these are made of bamboo yarn, which is a change. I used to make them in cotton yarn, but I just felt that the cotton yarn was too thick and stiff. But the bamboo yarn, it's very delicate, it's very loose and flowy. Um, so I made bandanas in this pink. I have them in this beige. And then just classic white. And then this is like a dark charcoal gray kind of color. Uh, the bandanas are going for $22 each. And they, I have eight of them. So I have two of every color. With the bandana yarn, uh, I had some left over. So I made some matching scrunchies. 
uh, these are going to be priced at six dollars each which is just my normal price for crochet scrunchies and i have one two three four five six seven so i have like seven of these too i'm going to set them up right by the bandanas so that way people can see that you can get a matching scrunchie with a bandana okay so that is everything pretty new that i'm selling well despite the chickens and the pickles those are just my best sellers but everything else that i have in here i have sold before and have shown in other videos they were new products last year when i first started markets but now they're just my leftover stock so i'm gonna kind of breeze through these a little bit i just don't have too much to say about them other than they are leftover stock from my previous markets last year so these are my AirPod pouches that I have. I sell them for $11 each and I have 10 of them. I have 10 or nine, I can't remember, um, all in different colors. So I have all the colors of the rainbow plus a little extra. I have these little mini Octos. Uh, these ones, my goodness, these are so small. I have 11 of them and they are going for $7 dollars each next up i have some of these small mini acrylic yarn bees these are 15 dollars each and i have three of them well i guess this is kind of an un unpopular opinion but i know everybody really likes the crochet bees i will admit that they are cute they're cute little bees but i do not like making them uh once i get rid of these bees i am not making any more i just really don't want to i don't enjoy it I don't like doing color changes with amigurumi. I'm not like an amigurumi plushy crocheter. I really make most of these just so I can sell them. So when it comes to actually doing it, I prefer to use like the thick chunky yarn and to do something very simple like, you know, the ducklings or the leggy frogs, but these color changes with the bees and then you also have to make the wings separately and then sew them on and you have to do the face. I just don't enjoy the process of it. I think it's just too much for making a plushie just for me because I am not super into making plushies. Yeah, that's just, just how I feel. <laughs> and then I do have some normal leggy frogs. These ones are super small, but they're my normal ones that I would usually sell. Um, these ones go for $12 each and these are the last two that I have and then I also have these whales here now I know I just said I don't like doing color changes with amigurumi but with the whales it's half in one color half in the other it's basic enough for me to be like okay this is manageable with the bees I have to switch like three times three or four times I think because I'm in yellow and then black and then yellow and then black and then yellow again much for me <laughs> but yes i have these whales i have five of them these go for 12 dollars each all right and i believe that is all that i have for plushies and now we're gonna get into bags a little bit bags have not been a huge seller for me at my past markets more of like the smaller bags uh have sold but these are my bigger ones i would really love for them to sell just because i've had them for a while but we'll see we'll see how they do at this market yeah let me just give you a little run through of what i have so i have these water bottle holders water bottle slings this is my bead bottle sling i think that's what i called it it matches the bead bucket hats too so i have this pattern if you want to make your own matching water bottle holder and then bucket hat set you totally can they're super cute too so yes i have these water bottle holders these go for $25 each and I have seven in a variety of colors. Next up, I have these pocket pouch bags. So it's just like a little granny square bag that is big enough to hold like your phone, keys, lip gloss, whatever. Uh, yeah, they're pretty small, but super cute. I have four of these and they go for $30 each. All right, next up, I have some market bags. So these are like your classic like produce bag or grocery bag. I know that you've definitely seen these if you're into crocheting. You know what these are. Um, these are my market bags. I have these three of them. I think there's an octopus in one. 
and they go for $45 each. All right, and next up I have these three uh, mesh bags. This is my own pattern. I have it written down somewhere, but I never published it, which I need to because these mesh bags are super cute. And I really like using them whenever I'm going into some kind of a venue that only allows clear bags. Guess what? These are clear. They're mesh bags. You can see right through them. <laughs> and yeah, I just think that's like a fun little, a fun little hack. If you don't have like one of those plastic clear bags, you can just use one of these mesh bags and it's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, I have these three. Uh, these go for $25 each. Okay. Hello, you. You want me to show you? I'm not going to sell you at the market, but this is my kitty, Nova. Ow. She just smacked me. Did you see that? She's been all over me today. Um, I have one of these checkered bags right here. And then I have one checkered bag like this. This is my sugar cookie tote bag pattern. This one, you can find any checkered bag like this, a pattern on like YouTube or just online. Um, both of them go for $45 each. All right, and one thing I forgot to bring over. All right, concerning bags, I have this bag also to add. I made this one just for fun. Uh, it is cute, but I just haven't found myself. I just haven't found myself wanting to use it. It's really cute. I don't think it's exactly my style, but I really enjoyed making it. Yeah. Also, the square that I'm that I use is called the Starburst Square. For that, well, maybe I can put the link to whatever YouTube video I watched. I know it was in like another language, though. It's really hard to figure out. Um, I only have one of them, and it's going for fifty-five dollars. All right. And then I forgot to mention these before. I have two string of pearls plants as well these ones are 25 dollars each and i only have two of them yeah that is pretty much it that is everything that i'm going to be selling at my first market of the year which i'm so excited for yeah i will tell you all about the market in my probably my results video um i'll just give you a little intro for it there but it's my first one of the year and i'm super excited uh, you will see how well i did what items sold the most in one of my next videos which will be all about the results of my market so make sure you are subscribed at least for that so you can see which of these items were my best sellers which ones didn't sell etc just all the deets. See, give this video a thumbs up if you made it all the way to the end and are excited for market season. Um, and comment down below, are you doing any markets this summer? What have you been making? Uh, have we made any of the same things? Do you have any best sellers that you want to share? Yeah, let's just chat in the comments. Um, I love being able to chat with you and reading your comments. I get back to every single one of them. That is all my videos. So yeah, let's chat about crochet markets. I hope you have a great week and a great start to summer and I will see you probably in a couple of days in my next video. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. Bye. All right. I have to get up Nova. I got to turn the camera off. She's loafing on my lap right now. I don't even know how because I'm not sitting with my legs together. <laughs>